generally measures uh, and monitors uh, the progress of the infrastructure project to make sure that it is being built to standards and the progress on that is being uh, made according to the plan, etc. Um, what generally doesn't get measured within those is the impact of those infrastructure projects um, on people's lives and the changes in the city itself. The Urban Climate Change Resilience Trust Fund, uh, URF for short, is a trust fund that's trying to enhance the urban resilience of poor and vulnerable people through the through planning, capacity building and infrastructure projects that are connected with existing ADB loans. We are providing the technical and implementation support for the measurement system that is there to gather the data for the design monitoring framework of the URF, which is a both a compliance requirement from the financing partners on the 15 indicators that are contained within the design monitoring and framework, um, as well as obviously a learning um, and measurement opportunity. One of the major activities that we're doing for this is conducting a baseline. Indicators one, two, and three within the design monitoring framework require that we be able to show that URF actually has improved the lives of you know, 50% of the urban uh, poor and vulnerable populations or 2.2 million people. URF's main sort of focus is both at changing the way the cities look at their own planning um, and, and to make that more climate change aware and resilient, um, focusing on sort of, you know, resilient principles, but also um, there's a very strong emphasis on all of this actually affecting people's lives, like real people's lives, and so therefore you won't know whether that's happened or not until you've gone on down, out and measured it. And so the only way we can demonstrate that the resilience of those people have actually been improved is to go out and do a baseline now and to measure how many people have been affected by the, the projects and then to be able to calculate at the end of the, the program how many people were actually, actually able to benefit. So we actually did a pilot phase um, in, two, uh, in two cities in Bangladesh, Bagarhat and Batukhali, uh, implemented that, learned from that, modified our approach. Um, and now we are in the full uh, implement baseline implementation stage, um, which has just been launched um, in February, where we have uh, started the baseline data collection in three countries, uh, Vietnam, Bangladesh, and Pakistan.